for you to go on arguing, to go on discussing it. It is just that you assimilate whatever I am saying and that assimilation itself will open out those new dimensions within you which God wants to be opened up. So better surrender in that way your ego. Ego is the one that makes you say something, argue something, discuss something. And this is what is the biggest problem that I have seen when the first day of the vexing start. So today is the first day when we should say that for that our ego should not start that drooping down. It was nice to dance, enjoy everything, but then when you sit down, while dancing you can't think, thank God. But as soon as the whole thing is over, you sit down, again the mind starts going on, tuck, 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 and then we start thinking. And once we start thinking, then we are losing that light which we have received, sort of the moon has started waxing. And at <coughs> that point one has to be careful because that's the most important thing. If you do not allow it to happen first time, then it can stop. It's very simple to understand that if you can stop, sorry, on a last bit of it, it will not blow up because you are holding on to it. So at the very beginning of waxing of the moon, if you are careful about it, if you are alert about it, it will never happen. Whatever you are achieve will be sustained and then you can increase. But that's a very important point which we miss and that's why we have lots of trouble and lots of problems in search of. So now as you are moving for your further journey, so many of you have come for the first time, I have to tell you, don't think, don't reflect. In this you must learn from Indians, they don't think about these things. But they have to think because when they think, they'll start thinking about those things which they have to think. I mean, you don't think, you'll be giving up all that is nonsensical that you've been thinking about. So don't think about it, don't reflect, don't bother. Try to be subtler and subtler and not misidentified with your tags that are outside, like hooks, you see. And the mind is like a hook. I've seen all of you have some one hook outside and all the yarns go, hook round it, again another yarn goes and hooks round it. And the whole mind is attached to that hook, that is Mr. Ego. If you can cut your string some or other and say, I'm not going to think, I have come here for my spiritual ascent, let me be what I am. If Mother says something, I'll listen to it, she scolds me, I'll listen to it, she does something, whatever she does, let me see that as I have come here for chiseling out myself, let her chisel me out, let the nature chisel me out, let the whole atmosphere chisel me out, puja should chisel me out, but you just become like a, a beautiful, uh, we can say, a jade in the hands of the Divine. And allow the Divine to take out all your beauty, just allow the Divine to take out your beauty and then you can enjoy your beauty. But if you hang over to all these old things, then it will be very difficult. So as being the first day, I have started it on the day when the moon is about to wake. See, I hope you'll be all very careful about it, be alert. You have to be very alert, you have to go beyond time, you don't have to think about food. Once in a while if you don't eat, doesn't matter, nobody's going to die, I tell you. We don't eat for days together, nothing happens to us. So food has not come, the breakfast time, the dinner time, I mean, there, food is a religion, I think. So everything has a time. Here there is no time for anything. We'll do whenever we feel like, you see. Let's do that way. So we have to be prepared for a nice, thorough cleansing and a very enjoyable time throughout. These two things can work hand in hand. If you just accept that you don't have to think. If you don't think, everything can be done without any problem and you'll enjoy life very much. So that's one thing.